today, CMS district leaders are expected to lay out what it will take to get kids back in class. Wake Up Show, it's Richard Devane joining us live this morning. So Richard, the district has always said their goal is to get kids back into the classroom. It's just when to do it and how to do it safely. Yeah, that's why they're going to listen to this panel today, this committee, if you will, who's looking at a number of areas of ways to get students back into the classroom. Today, CMS board will listen to the, that panel and then maybe they'll make a decision on getting students back into the classrooms as early as by the end or the middle, I should say, of this month. Promising words from CMS board member Sean Strain for parents who are anxious to have their kids back in the classroom. Certainly the medical and community health statistics say that we can. The only people preventing kids from being in our classroom now is our own preparation and readiness. Later today, they could have a better idea of when that might occur when the CMS Metrics Advisory Committee briefs the board on when it thinks students could return. The committee looks at more than just COVID-19 numbers. It also looks at things like staffing levels to how much PPE each school will need in order to reopen. The district's goal is phased implementation, bringing a small rotating group of students back into the classroom, then adding more students every few weeks depending on public health and metrics. So far, the CMS board has not specifically decided which model of students might return first, but the advisory committee could help them make those decisions. When I'm in the classroom with my students is we have academic real world conversations and debates and those things are hard to do, you know, virtually. Yeah, and that meeting takes place today at 6 o'clock. The target date that we had heard a, a couple of times was the 14th, but at least one board member said just yesterday that she doesn't believe it's feasible to make it happen that early. But, of course, we'll keep you posted on whatever decision they make today. We're live outside CMS headquarters. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.